Vietnam is relevant to the story because Christina Noble had a dream about Vietnam when she was, I think, 26 years old, and she carried that dream for another two decades in the back of her head, talking to people about it, but all the time hanging on to this dream that she was a person who should go to Vietnam for some reason. I think the main thing about filming in Vietnam was the energy of the place of Saigon. It's just extraordinary. And obviously we had to bring it back to 1989, so that was difficult for the art department. But we tried to bring as much of the energy of modern Saigon to the film as possible as well. It's been amazing working with the Vietnamese crew, right from the beginning when we got involved with Star Film Asia as our co-production partners here. At the beginning there was a bit of culture shock, there's always a bit that's lost in translation, but we've been with them for so long now that, that that's just a source of comedy now rather than a source of irritation. We have a large Vietnamese crew working with the because that's the way it works, so you've got to have a large crew working with you to ferry you around the city, to keep you safe in the city, to provide all the props and the actual vehicles and all of those things. full of life. Um, it's the story of the triumph of the human spirit over adversity. It's all these things. Um, Deirdre O'Kane, who is playing Christina Noble, the great woman herself, we have a, a, a long-standing uh, performance relationship. We played man and wife and I think the past of freedom years back. Uh, Deirdre was fantastic and it's just a great story, you know. When I met her and saw that she was a very funny woman, that's when a penny dropped in my head. Yeah, her personality in it is vibrant and feisty and she's a fighter. She's a street, she's a proper street fighter. But she's funny as hell too. I came to Vietnam with Christina for a week and we just spent 24 hours a day together here and I sat in on meetings that she had with government officials and I went to pe visit people in the slums and so I went from one end of her life to the other you know. So when we started trying to cast for that middle Christina we, were, we looked at lots of lots of people but the very moment that Sarah Green came in in the casting session she she was so she has such a remarkable uh, resemblance to, to Deirdre, who we all knew it was going to be Sarah. When she sings, she is so beautiful. So I read the script and just fell in love with it, just didn't really leave me. Just kept reading it, kept working on it, because I just, I really wanted it. I, and then just looking up Christine and, you know, finding out more about her and what her life has been like and what she's accomplished. Um, I was blown away by her. the scariest thing looking for child actors, good child actors, because they're very few and far between. And when you see somebody like Gloria, who just has talent in bucket loads and has this extraordinary confidence that's beyond her years, it's a huge feeling of relief and then one of excitement. You know you're going to work with a child who actually you can direct like an adult. Well, what I liked about the script is that it's, it's although we're dealing with sort of a harrowing experiences of Christina's early life, that there's a lightness to it. You know, I know Stephen was very um, adamant that there should be like a brightness and a hope that infuses this film because that's Christina's message is one of hope, definitely. And she's not a dweller on her painful experiences and that those painful experiences can be transformed into something wonderful and beautiful. So I hit him hard in the ribs. And he looked me in the eyes as he staggered sideways. I think it's incredibly uplifting. It's, you know, the movie itself it has moments of great comedy, and darkness and, and, uh, and sadness, because I, I think it's, it's one of those amazing journeys that a, a human being has had. And, uh... How are you, Christine? Yeah. Mom, I'll treat you to fish and chips. I love the idea of having children from the Christina Noble Foundation in the film. So we did auditions with about 60 or 100 kids who, who are in the foundation at the moment and, and at the centre in Saigon. And um, a lot of them are in the film and out of them we cast a few characters. 
Pang and uh, Tao being the main two, played by Nurm and Ge. They've been great to work with and great little actors. There's so much talent amongst the children that Christina has helped and nurtured that it wasn't difficult to find them. We're here to make a, a, a great film and, 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 tell, and tell a great story about an amazing woman. And, uh, that's what we're here for.